Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading for a May 27 to June 2nd, 2019. And bear with me a second guys to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away into the spread. All right, so uh, the first card which represents Aquarius is topic of the week, that will be the Sun card, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you will have to face throughout the week, Aquarius, is that will be the uh, King of Swords. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week, that will be the Magician. And lastly, uh, we do have the Guidance card, which is the Two of Cups, all right? So once again, the topic is the Sun card, followed by the um, King of Swords, which is the challenge. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect that is to be the Magician. And finally, uh, we have the Guidance card here as a Two of Cups. All right, so Aquarius is, uh, this, thing can, this reading can go in a couple of ways. <clears throat> but in either way, a, an enemy is involved. An enemy to a point um, where that person is not very pleased with um, your breakthroughs and uh, your good fortune that is happening throughout the week. So... Um, how this could go is that this this could be a, a very very jealous person. Although that is the least plausible way that this is going to uncover, but it could be a, a jealous person who simply thinks that you don't deserve what you get. All right, that could be, however, as well a uh, especially if we're talking about career, that could be your boss who does not care how happy you are. They just wants to boss you around. They don't think you know that you are productive being happy. You know, and they try to, let's say, restrict you so you are being more productive for their behalf and less productive for your behalf, right? <clears throat> or, lastly, that could be a, a point where you simply detach yourself from the influence of that person, King of Swords, which is the most possible way, the most plausible way here. And proceed on forward on your on your own, seeking new um, cooperation with someone much suitable. That is for the reason because the King of Swords is very demanding and selfish as well. So, the first card here, uh, Aquarius, is that is to be the Sun card, and that is the topic you are gonna feel extremely energetic, very happy, because everything that you are gonna do is gonna simply happen. Your work is gonna be, um, how can I, how do you say it? Not on the rock, because on the rock means bad, but your uh, your career is gonna skyrocket. You know, your relationship life as well is gonna develop very very well. That is due to the fact that everything you do will have that natural unfoldment. You know, and 
simply uh, there won't be any shenanigans along the way that, uh, or uh, yeah along the way who are to create any plights for you uh, you can strive throughout this week for monetary success uh, as well you can strive to recuperate or um, reconcile certain relationships also but the thing is that whatever you do throughout the week is going to create a um quite an exhilarating behavior that you are to take in your behavior exhilarating behavior also is going to uh, make others quite enthusiastic all right so you're going to be hell of an example that people will try to follow and everybody is going to admire you all right and the uh, accompanied card here that will be the uh, knight of wands aquarius so we do have active supporters and uh, <clears throat> the, the knight of wands only strengthens this um, positive aspect of the sun card putting you into a very enterprising role so you're going to be a, a very enterprising person you know who is not afraid to try out who is not afraid to do what it is needed in order to achieve certain things to push things things through and to present himself much more capable than others actually believed in you the you are you are to present yourself as a person who is not afraid to try out you know so let's say your boss approaches you and gives you a a project and you say okay i'm gonna try it out you try it out and you see that it actually works all right and it is where this another one comes around here that will be the king of swords so your boss approaches you gives you a project you say okay um I'm going to try it out, that, that not your supervisor, excuse me. So you say, okay, I'm going to try it out, all right? And you are try, trying it out and you uh, see that, and your boss as well see that this thing actually works, you know, and you are very good in that performance because at the start you have no clue what you're going to do, but it comes natural to you, you know, to tackle with it. And this is your colleague, all right? The uh, King of Swords, strongly displeased of that you are capable, all right? Because they wanted, they wanted that thing to be given to you so you can fail, so they can take it, and so they can establish a, a dominions over you. It's all about dominions here, right? So you need to be careful because this person as a, um, <clears throat> as a competition or as an enemy, they can twist the truth. Usually they don't lie, all right, but they do twist the truth. Additionally to that, they do have authority also. So I believe that even if it is a co-worker, it is um, more appreciated than you are. And probably they have been quite busy, let's say. That's why that project was given to you, If in case that is a project. Or if we're talking about a, a relationship cycle here, you know, you may try with a, a person, okay? And that could be the jealous one who hopes that you're going to try with them, all right? And um, they see that how happy you are with the one that you tried and they kind of like try to sabotage this newly formed relationship because they want you for themselves the accompanied card here that will be the four of cups uh the formation it is a um <clears throat> active neutrals and um uh, definitely we're talking about jealousy uh, of a missed opportunity with uh, with this one with the king of swords and uh, it is a bit frightening here, guys, because with the Four of Cups, they will wait for another, um, for another window of opportunity so they can uh, basically either, like I said, you know, uh, take, the, take you for themselves, sabotage your relationship or, you know, sabotage your career path, your work upon the project and so on and so forth. We are talking about this mean and very surreptitious, almost nefarious person who... Uh, does not have any, um, how do you say it? Uh, it's not dignity, but it has no remorse. It's simply they are ready to do whatever it's needed, you know, in order to get what they, whatever they need. And uh, if that is something surreptitious and nefarious, so be it. They do care only about the results. So uh, the positive card here, that will be the uh, magician. And this is the reason why I said that the most plausible way that this is going to manifest is you detaching from one and seeking cooperation with another. Because the, <coughs> excuse me, the magician wants, uh, the magician card tells, tells us a couple of things. First is that you are going to obtain a, a very strong presence of sovereignty, meaning that you will no longer be under, under the influence of someone of this king of swords. 
And uh, second, it does point that finally you will be able to stir a, um, a plan of yours or a situation of yours that's, uh, how can I place it, um, on, a, on its very initial stage that will be quite enthusiastic and you will have that strong determination to do it that is on your own. The magician, additionally to that, it does represent that you will be very elaborative when it comes to explanations as well. And people simply will take you as a, like I said at the start, guys, as an, an example, right? They will admire you. You are to win a lot of followers throughout this uh, week and a lot of supporters as well. So if you are to overpower, you know, this enemy of yours, it should happen throughout this week, May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. Uh, I do believe that you have a pretty good idea who that one is. <clears throat> you know, if we're talking about career, it is the one who is always uh, displeased with how everything unfolds, you know, always mourn and uh, always whine, excuse me, and always it's, uh, it's dissatisfied and so on and so forth. If we're talking about relationship, that is the one who is bruisey and who uh, thinks themselves more than the others and so on and so forth. Uh, the accompanied card here, that will be the, um, <clears throat> the Hermit. And uh, the formation here, actually, it is a uh, active uh, enemies that we do have. And uh, it's very baffling, actually. <clears throat> um, I need a second here to think of it. It's, uh, it's more like... Um, It's more like that you don't have to think twice about it. It's like um, a postponing of the inevitable, right? Or the drastic actions that you have to take. Like uh, quitting your job so you can detach from this uh, person, all right? Or uh, escaping from your social circle so you can detach from this person. Because that, if we're talking about relationship, that should be someone who always stalks you and, and uh, kind of like texts you and so on and so forth. So with these couple of cards here, um, it is more like a realization, you know, that things cannot go that drastic and you should not make a, a drastic change into your environment, into your career or into your uh, social circle as well. But simply you need to present yourself as a more cheerful and strong person, someone who is quite capable to do things on their own and to detach from from a noxious um, influence that the King of Swords is uh, oppressing upon your um, upon your personality. So finally, we go to the Two of Cups, which is the guidance itself, and that card uh, urges you to seek more um, harmoniously flowing uh, partnerships and relationships. Now, when it uh, it refers to the uh, career, this card points that you need to surround yourself only with people that makes you feel happy and that are cooperative with you in regards to the cumulative tasks that you do have into your career. So that that makes it those kind of co-workers which are not creating uh, any obstacles and they are um, they are rather subordinate and you together, or rather like you are helping to one another. Now, when we talk about, however, relationship with the Two of Cups, it kind of means the same thing, but there, you should not be afraid or shy, you know, to display um, how much you're capable to love, right? So, uh, with the Two of Cups as a guidance, it does point that you will have to, finally, I would say is that it does point that you will have to how can I place a, a, a display you're willing to find the lovely or love situations uh, in your life and you have no regret, no remorse whatsoever to detach from those noxious ones. Uh, and the final one, that will be the Queen of uh, Wands. Um, the formation here, it is a, a passive enemies. And uh, as the Queen of Wands uh, falls to the Two of Cups, it does ask you not to be biased about anybody that you face, but give people a chance, but not to the extent that you gave to the King of Swords, you know, every time, once that, that person screws up, then they have no place around you. But that being said, you know, as soon as you, uh, for example, uh, interact with someone new, a little, a little kindness, you know, and being much, and being a little bit more initiative, can go and shoot and will go 
for a, a long run. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.